Hi everyone, welcome to your channel Impulse Tech. I am Yogesh. So you have just seen this robot is in action. Now the name of this robot is IoT Control Robot. Now let's see what are the different applications of the IoT Control Robot and where we can use the IoT Control Robot in real life. Now this IoT Control Robot like used in various places like industrial automation, agricultural department. So during the COVID-19 pandemic, we have used the IoT control robot in order to deliver medication to the patient in COVID-19 ward. That means we can control this robot from far end and we can able to deliver the medicines to the COVID-19 patients. So this is how we are using the IoT control robot in healthcare and other different applications. So without wasting time, let's get started and build this IoT control robot using the ESP32 board and the Blink IoT platform. So now we will see how to build the circuit diagram of this project. So in this project, you need ESP32 board as this is the IoT control robot. That's why we need the board which has the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth capability. Yeah, so we have here ESP32 board. We have here L298 motor driver. Also, we do have the four BO motors. Here I have taken the four BO motors. Also, we need to have the 12 volt battery. Okay, now let's see how we are going to connect the L298 motor driver and the ESP32 board. So first of all, I just wanted to tell you on the L298 motor driver, we have these pins. First one is 12 volt pin, middle pin is basically ground pin and the plus 5 volt pin. Here you can see the enable A pin, input 1, input 2, input 3 and input 4 pin. So here you can see enable A and enable B I haven't used because these pins are basically used for controlling the speed of the DC motor. Now these pins I kept at short position because I want my motor should rotate at the maximum speed. So whenever you will see the enable A and enable B short position then that means your motor will run at maximum speed. Now first we will see the power connection how I have done the power connection. Now the plus 12 of the L298 motor driver is connected to the battery is plus 12 and the ground of the battery is connected to the ground of the L298 motor driver and also the ground of the battery and the ground of the driver is connected to the ESP32 board. That means you have to make the common connection of ground between ESP32 board battery and the motor driver. So this is the most important point here. If you don't do this, then your robot will not work. Okay, now let's talk about the digital pin connections or the control pin of the driver. So here we have the four control pins. One is input one, input two, input three and input four. Now we will connect the digital pin 12 to the input one, digital pin 14 to the input two and digital pin 27 to the input three and the digital pin 26 is connected to the input pin 4 of the driver. Now this motor driver also has the motor A and motor B connections. So here you can see out 1 and out 2. So on this side we will connect the motor A or you can say motor left. And on this side which is output 3 and output 4. Here we can connect the motor right. So here I have done the connection of. So here I have done parallel connection between the motors. Here you can see I have connected the positive of this motor to the positive of another motor and the negative of this motor to the negative of another motor. Now take the positive common wire and connect it to the output 2 and take the negative common and connect it to the output 1. The same way you have to do it for rest of the two motors or you can say the right motor. So after successful completion of your connecting the circuit diagram, it should look like this. It's very simple. I hope you understand this. So now we have done with the circuit diagram part. Now we will configure the Blink IoT platform in order to build the IoT control robot. So as you can see, I have already logged into the Blink IoT platform. Now here you can see I have already created the template called IoT based robot. Now if you wanted to learn about how to create the template, how to configure the template inside the Blink IoT platform, then you need to watch my previous video. I have already uploaded. Uh, in total 15 videos based on the Blink IoT platform itself. You can watch those videos and then come back here and you can build your own IoT control robot as well. Okay, so now I will just guide you how I have like configured the template and all. I'll just click on the template which I've created which is IoT based robot. Here I'll directly go to the data stream and I'll explain you what kind of data stream which I've created because this is the important part. So here you can see I have created four data stream. One is forward, second is backward, third is left and fourth is right. Now, 
these are the data stream in order to control the robot now let's see what data i have given inside this template here you can see that i have choose the virtual pin v0 and the data type is integer now you know that i wanted to control a robot it's like a switch that i'm using so that's why i'm getting the values which is minimum value is 0 and the maximum value is 1 that's why i've written okay now i'll close this so i have done the same thing for rest of the three data streams so if i open the backward so if i open the backward data stream you can see the virtual pin v1 is selected and the same data type is integer and the minimum and maximum values are 0 and 1 okay now for left here you can see the same v2 now for the left here you can see we have selected the data stream v2 and for right we have selected the data stream v3 so in total we have selected four data stream v0 to v3 now here inside the web dashboard i have added four widgets and all the widgets are switches i have added which is forward backward left and right now if i click on edit we can configure this widget for example if i click here you can see i have given the name to the widget called forward so if i touch on this button then my robot will move forward so that's why i have given the on value as one and the off value as zero now same thing i have done it for the backward as well here you have to select the data stream for backward and the same value that i have given which is one and zero so in total i have added the four switch widget so whenever i will just turn on and off this widget my robot will move forward backward left or right that's what i want let's talk about the mobile dashboard you can create the mobile dashboard as well so for that you need to download the blink iot app so just go to the google play store download the blink iot app and you can then then you can easily able to configure the template that you have created in this section you will learn about how to add the device to your template so here you can see i have already created two template now here the template which is iot based robot i have already added a device now how to add the device you just have to click a new device and then you have to select the template in which you wanted to add the device so as this is my free account that's why i'm not able to add the more than two devices now let's see what are the changes we need to do inside the programming now i have already written down the program for iot control robot now i will walk you through the step by step manner uh, or i will break this code in step by step manner so that you will learn how to modify any blink iot code in order to build your own system from where i got this data which is blink template id blink template name and blink authorization token so just go to your blink platform and here go to your device and go to the device info and copy this data you can see blink template id blink template name blink authorization token just click on it it get copied now go to the code and paste the entire data here you don't have to do anything now as i mentioned in the circuit diagram we have connected the motor driver with the esp32 board so here i have connected the input 1 to the digital pin 12 of the esp32 board the same way for input 2 input 3 and input 4 so these are the digital pins for the motor driver now we need to define those so now we need few libraries in order to work with blink iot platform and the esp32 board so what are those library we need wifi.h wifi client.h and the blink simple esp32.h so these are basically the libraries that we need to install in the Arduino. now i'll just delete this code which is like i have used it for my previous project now we need to provide the wi-fi credentials in order to connect our esp32 to the internet okay so now i have provided here the ssid of my wi-fi router and the password for the ssid okay now here comes the most important step as i have already mentioned you that i have used here four data stream from v0 to v3 now v0 i have used for turning the robot in forward direction so if you see now i am writing to the virtual pin v0 for that you need to use the command called blink underscore write v0 now i am going to write whatever the data i wanted to write to that particular data stream which i have created now here you can see the data which is coming from the widget whenever i am pressing that widget on the blink rt platform 
whenever I'm pressing the widget on the Blink ID platform, I'm getting one data, which is one and zero values. Now I am storing the data, which I'm getting from the Blink ID platform. Whenever I'm pressing that switch widget into the variable called switch zero. Now here I'm using this command, which is parameter as an integer. Now here you can see I am storing inside this variable, which is switch zero. If the switch zero value is equal to is equal to high. That means if you press that button on the widget, that means if you press the button on the Blink ID platform, if you press the button on the Blink ID platform on the on position, then switch zero stores the value as a high. And if that value is high, then I wanted to turn my robot in forward direction. So that's why I have given the command called high, low, low, high. This command can be different for you because you can just change the motor connections in order to get your motor in the same direction. I have done inside the coding. That's why my code looks quite different. You can change this line of code, which is like high, low or low high, and then you can correct the direction of your robot. It's very simple. If not, then you need to stop the robot. If this is not the case, then you need to stop the robot. So that's why I have used here command called else. And inside the else, I have given the command called low for all the input pin of the motor driver. Now let's write the data to the virtual pin V1. The same thing, I have created one variable called switch1 and storing the data. So this is the data for the backward. Now whenever I can see that switch1 is high, that means the value is 1, then I can turn my robot in backward direction. So for that, what I've done, I have reversed the command which I've written here. It's very simple line of code. Now the same thing what I've done, if this is not the case, then just turn off the robot. Now, in order to turn the motor on the left side, I have used here virtual pin V2. And if this virtual pin V2 is high, then what I've done, I have just turned off the motor on the right hand side and I've just turned on the motor on the left hand side. Due to this, what happens? Your robot will turn on the left hand side. Now, if this is not the case, then you need to turn off the robot. Now, I have written the same line of code in order to turn your robot on the right hand side. Now inside the voice setup, what I've done, I have just started the serial monitor in order to print some data on the serial monitor. Now also I've started the bling.begin in order to connect your ESP32 to the Wi-Fi. Here we need to define the input 1, input 2, input 3 and input 4 as a output pins. And we have done that. So whenever we will start our robot for the first time, we need to make sure that robot is in the off position. So that's why what I've done, I have just turned off all the input pins. Only bling.run function is there inside the white loop. Nothing else and one timer function is there. The white loop is very clean. So this is the simple line of code that you need to write in order to make the IoT control robot. I have already uploaded the same code inside the ESP32 board. So now we will see whether this robot is working or not. Now this is our blink -out platform. So I will go to the search icon. Here you will see the devices. So now you can see our device is online. That means the ESP32 board is connected to the internet and you can see the device is online. Now I'll click on the device. Now you can see there are buttons. So I will just turn on this forward, backward and left and right. Let's see whether it's working or not. So what I will do now, I will just click on this forward button and let's see on the screen. You can see the robot is working. As you can see the robot is moving forward. The robot is moving backward. Now the robot is turning left. Now the robot is turning right. So this is how we can easily able to make the IoT controlled robot using the Blink IoT platform and the ESP32 board. Now you can modify this project and you can take this project to the next level and you can build your own humanoid robot with the arm and everything. And also you can control those arm using the servo motor and you can control that servo motor using the Blink IoT platform. So if you found this project useful for you, then do subscribe the channel and like the video, press the bell icon. See you in the next video.